Good morning, Franklin. It's Monday morning. I'm Eric Stuckey, uh, and we're out here in downtown Franklin, as you can tell, right behind the Red Pony here, between uh, the alley between 4th Avenue and 5th uh, Avenue. And as you know, early Saturday morning, there was a significant fire that took place here. I have with me today, as our first item on your top three things, uh, Chief Glenn Johnson. Chief, tell us a little bit about what happened on Saturday morning, and, and what do we know? Uh, at approximately 4 o'clock uh, Saturday morning, our personnel were uh, dispatched to this location for a smoke alarm. Uh, fire alarm activation upon arrival, they had heavy fire showing from the back rear of the structure here. Uh, once they uh, arrived on scene, they took a, a blitz line and, and basically uh, uh, started an aggressive defensive attack, which basically kept the, uh, the fire contained to what you see here. Uh, we were, uh, the men and women of the Franklin Fire Department worked uh, really hard and aggressive uh, to uh, keep this from spreading to the other structures. Um, in March of 1981, there was a similar fire here uh, on Main Street in proximity to the Red Pony. Uh, however, uh, the effects of that fire were greater than what we're experiencing today. So we're thankful for uh, some of the protective measures, uh, the upgrading of sprinkler systems in some of these occupancies, uh, and the installation of fire alarms that could prevent uh, what happened here 40 years ago in March. So that speaks to the quality of, of, of fire services we provide. City of Franklin has an ISO rating of one, which is the top rating that you can have. That puts us in the top 0.5% of fire departments across the country. So that, that training, that capability, those, that equipment and skills that we instill in our team really helps respond to things like this. And as Chief said, the presence of fire sprinklers was a huge difference maker in keeping it from being a much larger event and a much more damaging event. So thank you to the men and women of the Franklin Fire Department for their work. So that, that's item number one. Item number two is uh, we've got a new service that we've rolled out in the last week with the city of Franklin. It is paperless billing for your utilities. So if you're a water sewer, your, uh, your um, waste sanitation, uh, trash pickup, that all can be done through uh, paperless billing. So you no longer have to get that through the mail. You can just go to franklintn.gov slash paperless billing and you can get information about it. It is a free service. It is uh, immediately an optional service, but it can help eliminate additional mail coming in and give you that immediate to your email notification about your new bill. So that's going on there. You can go sign up for that. Uh, we are thrilled and thank our revenue management, finance and IT teams for putting that together. And then finally, just to give you an update related to COVID-19 vaccine, Williamson County is still in the phase where we're working with 1A1 and 1A2 phases, which is your frontline public safety and healthcare workers primarily, and then the age group of 75 or older. That is still what we're working on. Uh, we have not progressed into 70 or 65 age groups yet. So just know that if you're interested in getting notifications related to which groups and which phases are next, you can go to williamsonready.org and you can go and sign up for the notification system there. Or if you're in one of the groups, you can get registered with the state of Tennessee and get notified of a sign up and appointment there. So again, that continues to happen at the Ag Center and it's the county and the city is all working together to help that happen with, our, with the uh, state health department and our local health department. So those are your top three things. The fire and the response here in downtown Franklin the paperless billing that you can go to franklintn.gov slash paperless billing and get signed up and the vaccine update. That's it, Franklin. Take care and have a great day.